hello everyone welcome back to my channel with me shade you world and today i'm going to show you how you can drop such columns where the number of missing values is way more high if i say more than 50 percent then in that case those columns will no longer relevant to your analysis so to drop the uh, columns is most the ideal way that every other data scientist and data analyst are performing these days so i will also uh, show you how we can do that so so in that case, I have just uh, created a dummy uh, particular data frame, a data set for you. So that is on fruits and prices. And where you can see that NAN, which says that these are the null or the missing records. And the price is having three, price column having three three records which says null and fruits having two so if you go with the price column they they have more number of missing records so in that case uh, it's ideal to drop this price column this is just an uh, you know dummy variable or dummy data set you can say so let's first uh, go to the shape i just i, I love to see uh, what are the number of rows and columns so better we get an idea that this is what the data frame is so uh, so as let's run this this is 5 comma 2 it says so 5 rows and 2 columns uh, which is matching so now the task starts that is to remove such records which have the more null values so here as we want to calculate with the number of null values we will use the mean let's say if the number of uh, such null values mean mean is uh, uh, going to have from total out of this how many are mean so if we say that mean value is greater than 50 percent so in that case we should drop those columns so let's do that first will see df dot columns df dot columns once you run this column run the cell you will see that this df dot column will return the column names from this column i want to remove such a uh, columns which are null in in case so which are more null values so df dot is null is null is one of the method that you can call dot then i will uh, then I will call the mean function. So mean function. So in this case, if it is greater than 0.50%, so I would like to drop such columns. So I will use drop df dot drop, and in this I will pass within the parenthesis of df dot drop. This is what I am going to pass, but this will by default it will says the axis is equal to zero the axis is equal to zero means they are going to remove the records that is in row wise they will remove it but i want a column wise so here the axis has to be equal to one one define that you want to remove the columns so the comparison the python will uh, create on the basis of the column so now you can use df dot drop to drop the columns columns if you assign axis is equal to one otherwise it will take by default as x is equal to zero so it will remove the rows just run this cell and see here now we have successfully removed the price why because the price mean value if you say the null the number of null dot mean value is way more higher which is more than 50%. So whatever condition you make, if you if your uh, condition is more than 40%, so in, in that case is different. If you want to increase that, let's say not just 40%, if say the 80% of records, you, uh, if, if they say it's a missing value, then you can also replace this as 0.80. So anything, it's up to you what kind of analysis and how deeply uh, you want to go ahead and you want to take a chance on the other columns and if they are the missing or you can treat that or not so this is one of the way of data manipulation and data cleansing of your data uh, data uh, data sheet in your python so hope you uh, like this video if you really like then please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching see you on the next video